welcome back, True Seeker, November 2nd, 2017. In the NFL, two scripted news stories by the numbers. Just yesterday, Houston won the World Series, securing their 112th win of the season, a span of 112 days from Verlander's birthday, their big acquisition at the end of the season. As I explained many times, in Gematria, Houston equals 112. So now today, the day after Houston wins the World Series, their young star quarterback supposedly tears his ACL at practice. What an unlikely thing to do for a young, healthy man. You know, a world-class athlete. On November 2nd, 11-2, 112, like 112, we get this news. And as I've been explaining for years, the world of professional sports is a scripted theater performance full of of fake injuries. Most of the time when you see these players down on the ground in the field, it's completely fake. You know, just the other night, a primetime football game, it ended with a final score of 58 points. How did that game begin? It began with number 58 on one knee. He was on a knee in the middle of the field and the announcer was telling you he was hurt. Nothing looked hurt about him. They showed the replay. There was nothing that happened to him in the play. He just sitting there on a knee with number 58 facing the camera for a minute. And they're telling you he's injured. And then the final score of the game is 58 points. Everything that happens in sports is scripted theater. And it's all about the numbers. Because the people who run these leagues are Zionist Jews that practice Kabbalah. And in Kabbalah, numbers are essentially the most important thing in the world. What else happened today? Andrew Luck placed on the IR on the same day. The guy who played his high school football in Houston because his father was on the Houston Oilers once upon a time. And what have I been talking about Andrew Luck for years? Last year, March 2016, months before the season began, I said the Colts had a very real chance at the Super Bowl because they were scheduled to play in Houston 112 days before the Super Bowl. And in Gematria, Andrew Luck equals 112. His mother's name, Kathy Luck, equals 112. The Colts symbol is a horseshoe, which equals 112. Houston equals 112. Super Bowl equals 112. There was a reason in March of last year why I said the Colts had a strong chance to go to the Super Bowl based on how things are scripted. I also have been pointing out for years that when the Colts get riddles, They're oftentimes in tribute to the Patriots. And I explained that all last year. And from week one on, I explained the the Patriots opened their season last year on the 112th Meridian in Phoenix. I explained why it might actually be the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And as the clues mounted by week four, I was all but certain the Patriots would win the Super Bowl. So people want to continue to hate because in March, you know, six, seven months before the season began, it was really before March, wasn't it? It was February. So it was, you know, seven, eight months before the season began. I was saying why the Colts had a narrative, understanding that sports are scripted by the numbers. So all of my haters, they are just truly fucking retarded. You know, because here's more proof, just like there is every day, that my work is right on point. Andrew Luck put on the IR November 2nd. If you're watching the ESPN coverage, they're saying, well, we don't even exactly know what's wrong with him. We don't know what the injury is. Because there is no injury. Just all a fake bullshit narrative. It's all scripted. They, the people who script the games, like I say, they script it from the box score to the final score. They have Andrew career, Luck's entire career plotted out. And they're saving his next game, his next pass attempts for the next contrived season. And here's something else that stood out to me about today's date. Luck headed to IR but excited for his future. Today's date has 50 numerology. Special number to this nation, America equals 50. Super Bowl has Gematria 50. The word Colt equals 50. Super Bowl 54 will be the 50th Super Bowl of the modern era. This is the guy who they said was, you know, the greatest college quarterback ever. You know, they nearly made him the face of the league as as Peyton Manning was going out of the league. When Tom Brady and all these guys are done for with all their scripted wins, Andrew Luck will still be relatively young. And, you know, he'll be a household name for a long time. So they're preserving his career, his scripted future career for a season ahead. And, you know, Super Bowl 54, the 50th Super Bowl of the modern era, is still two years away. 
But I won't be surprised one bit if that's where we end up seeing Andrew Luck. And I, I should just see what this word is. Excited in Gematria. Because anytime they emphasize a word, there's some coding there. And uh, here, let's just get up the base ciphers. We don't want to look at them all. Well, maybe we do. Excited. Let me think about it. So, hmm. We know about 119, you know, number of the all-seeing eye, always a special number. This year, maybe somehow they're, they're trying to clue us into something going on this year with the Super Bowl through that headline. U.S. Bank Stadium equals 38, just like Minnesota. That's where the Super Bowl will be this year. Indianapolis Colts and Gematria equals 93, like Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is on the 93rd meridian. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe somebody else out there could think about it. I don't have the riddle right now, but there's a reason that they're emphasizing these numbers. Excited. Let me just think. I'm rusty. Indianapolis. Remember to use your S exceptions. That's where the 93 comes in with the Colts. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure why they put excited there today exactly. Again, like I said, it could be a riddle for the upcoming Super Bowl, but, but they're trying to tell us something there. So anyway, we get these stories about 1-1-2, you know, two quarterbacks, interconnected, Colts and Houston are in the same division. Again, Andrew Luck played his high school ball there. It's just such a joke. And all of you in the comments who troll and, and try to put down my work and say that there's nothing to these numbers, it's all coincidence. I mean, you really got to be just the most brain dead fucking retard there ever was. You know, here I am every day exposing very clear patterns of how the news is scripted by a code, how the games are rigged by a code, calling sports games, championships before the season even begins, specific scores, you know, who's going to be the MVP. I mean, to continue to deny it, you just got to be the most worthless fucking loser there ever was.